Hello everyone and welcome to a little bonus video this week as I think it won't be that long but we're going to be unboxing the new Kill Team starter set not to be confused with Hive Storm or whatever it was called that I've also done yeah Hive Storm which is loads of the box there which is everything you need to get started with two full teams for Kill Team this is a smaller one with I think incomplete rules we'll see as we open it and two repackaged uh, former blind box releases the ultramarine wave and the death guard wave which i wanted at the time even though i wasn't even playing 40k so it's a good excuse to pick them up for less than 60 pounds uh, i will start with a negative though which i don't like doing but the the box is very flimsy and you might be able to spot sprue has poked through there it's in the process of poking through right there and there's damage there there's bubbles there where the sprues pressed against it and as i was moving it like it does not feel very secure i am still going to show you the back of the box despite that so was me i guess the back of it actually feels more secure than the front so yeah these were the original releases i can't remember the order in which they they did those hero boxes i think wave three was the death guard <laughs> Either way, I really wanted them, so it's a good excuse to pick them up. They are a full kill team, you actually get one extra mod, I think, because you can have six, but there's seven of them. And there is Ultramains that you can count as an Angels of Death kill team. Um, I don't think you can use all of them either, because it's six, but either way, it gives you like a heavy gunner, sniper, space marine captain with probably the best setup, and just some warriors, which you can mix and match with you know, Reavers, etc. And for the first time, Games Workshop is doing MDF Terrain. This looks very similar to, oh, must have been 40k second edition when they had the cardboard corner walls. Either way, this is what we're opening today to have a look inside. And I do worry about how loose this is all feeling, so let's see what conditions it's in. So it was sealed. I have now unsealed it, and we're going to pull out the insides. And yep, the sprue is just very untidily thrown on top we'll just put the box over there to be shiny over there so this is literally the sprue from those blind boxes as far as I'm aware it was colored as such I'm pretty sure it was on one sprue bit each that's warped look at that huh. and they're all push fit which I don't see as a positive but some people do so we have our space marine sprue as I say that one is definitely warped I don't usually have to critique sprue but that's, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty badly bent, huh? Let's see if any of the other ones are like that. That's perfectly fine. Uh, this one, perfectly fine. That's probably the one that was poking through the box. I maybe got, like, squished a little bit at one side. That's perfectly fine. Oh, I see something that's not perfectly fine, unfortunately. A bit of the sprue has come unleashed. Oh, it's a head! <laughs> It's one of the, op well, presumably optional heads, because I think there's helmeted and unhelmeted versions, but hopefully, sort of in focus, that is a Space Marine's head. So, that's unfortunate. I'm not even sure which one it came off of. In terms of not being warped, that's fine. Same with this one. I usually prefer to keep the Space Marine's helmeted anyway. And the Death Guard. Oh, that's a, well, it's a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. Again, it was over where the sprue had broken through the top of the box, so it's not surprising. They're coming in... What is that? That's Death World Green, or Death Guard Green. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I guess it was just one unlucky bit of sprue, unfortunately. Or two, technically, unless the head came off this... Oh, actually, no! That one's bent as well. Look at that! I am hoping, I'm hoping I'm holding it at an angle... Yeah, there we go, you can tell there. That is bent sprue. Huh. That one, that one's fine. It's ever so slightly, ever so slightly. I mean, it's sturdy enough, so I'm sure it doesn't matter. But it's, it's very strange. Like, why did it end up like that? And then clearly, I have this box upside down. I guess. As we'll turn it this way, we've got a very nice display there. Oh no! Do they expect you to cut out like damage icons? Is that what that's for? Well, I like that one better. That's pretty cool too. Don't like this having to cut out tokens, but again, this is the cheap option to give you the very basics to play kill team. And next, a mysterious envelope. This will be the battlegrounds. Yep, I think this is the same card stock as all the other ones, so it's decent enough. And from what I saw in the Hive Storm stuff, 
it's pretty non-reflective as well like I'm holding this pretty close to the like obviously you can tell there's a light shining on it there but it's not like fully reflective not as much as the box was it's kind of a basic oh actually no the other side never mind that side's just basic imperial wreckage crates barrels building buried there but yeah the other side's actually got a like a Mars theme going on I'm not gonna unfurl the whole thing because the box is in the way unfortunately but just to give you a taste of what it looks like and that side's even less reflective I like that so yeah it has variety on the the other side so that's good enough uh, I'll put that to one side over there and then we have oh, our dossier of very important information lift it up and because I have the box upside down I'll turn it this way so as far as I'm aware this reference sheet for the Plague Marines is incomplete I don't know why it doesn't feel like there's a good reason other than to force you to use the app. The app is free, to be fair, but why could they not have just had the full rules? Maybe it is the full rules, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see here, does it have the spells on the plate caster? Nope, yeah, these are basic versions of the rules. Yeah, to play through your missions a Kill Team Starter Set, you'll use more of each data card with each mission you play. Don't worry if you don't understand them at first. Yeah, so these are simplified because it doesn't even mention the special rules on the playcaster, so I, th I think it is missing some stuff. But hey, it's a starting point. But I don't see the reason why you don't have the full the full thing beyond forcing you to use the app. And I guess the space marines might be the same thing, more or less. Yeah, but still, you have the starting set of rules. Then you have the necessary tokens. Objective tokens, you have your range applications, uh, your concealed, etc. And universal equipment if you don't have the 3D stuff. This stuff doesn't, or this pack rather, does not come with the 3D optional objective mar uh, optional equipment markers rather. And then we have Starter Handbook. Very carefully named because it is not the rule book. And I don't think it has the full rule book. It's got assembly instructions, so that's nice enough. It's got lore. It's got a game like no other. It's got an explanation of the tokens, and it's got some basic scenarios where it very slowly introduces you to the rules. Which is a, it is, I'm probably going to use this to help ease in when it comes time to learn to actually play Kill Team. But again, it's carefully worded. It is not a rule book. It is just a starter position. So once you're finished using the content of this box, you'll still have two full kill teams you could use, but you're not going to be able to play a proper game without either buying the rulebook or buying Hive Storm. What is in here? Actually, maybe, maybe this is... No, this is the MDF terrain, isn't it? It's the only thing that's left. Interesting way to package it. Of all the stuff that I thought was shuggling around when I was shaking the box. I thought the terrain would be it, but as it turns out it was the unprotected sprue, which is why it's damaged. So, Games Workshop's first effort apparently of MDF terrain, and this is based on real models they have, by the way. Very, very similar. In fact, I have one directly to my side here. Let me just grab it real quick. Right here. There is a real bit of... Uh, although they filled in the window unless I can get pushed out, but, yep, one-to-one, -one, as I dropped it on the floor. But that is this very terrain that they've modelled it on, which is quite fun. So if you want the real thing, I don't remember where this was, I think this was originally a 40k terrain set piece. I've had it for years and years and years. But now you have it in kind of cross-section MDF. Does it smell of laser-cut MDF? It actually doesn't, which is surprising and disappointing, because I like the smell of laser cut MDF. Let's break a bit off to see here. Really thick. Hopefully that's in focus. Really thick. And decently detailed. I would prefer if it looked a bit grimier, to be honest, but whatever. So yeah, definitely thick. You're not going to be accidentally bending it. Let's put it that way, unless you fell on it, I suppose. So you're getting three bits of the sprue. Oh, well, there's another bit off. And you can interconnect connect them this probably isn't how you do these two parts but just as an example eh, it might be actually and boom corner piece and obviously easy enough to unassemble as well and that gives you the very basics of terrain for a game of kill team is there anything concealed there must be because we need dice oh no it's the same pathetic pack of the worst looking dice i've seen for some time 
that were in Hive Storm as well. I bet they're the same. Yep, you better believe it's the most basic. I want to put an end, another word at the end of there, but I can't because I keep this family friendly. The most basic, tiny, embarrassing white dice. Not. It's got to be the cheapest option. It's, it's got to be. But hey, you get enough dice. Exactly the same came in Hive Storm. And that is it. That's everything you get. I'm going to have some final thoughts though and probably make some direct comparisons to Hive Storm. So, some final thoughts. If you want a Plague Rain kill team, if you want a decent Angels of Death kill team, this is a cheap and good way to get them. I think it was £54, something like that, from a third party retailer. And that is a very decent price to get full, two full kill teams, partial rules, and a decent double sided cardboard map and some cardboard terrain if you're just getting started and need anything to use as terrain. It's good for that. I wanted these models. People are still trying to sell the old blind box versions for insane prices on eBay and such. So this is definitely the best way to get these models. And they look good. The models look good. Clearly it's the same sprue because it looks identical. And clearly it has not been like well looked after. It's the first time I've had warped sprue from Games Workshop to that degree. Had bits fall off sprue before, so that, that you can excuse just from having to travel, obviously, to get delivered to you. But actually warped sprue? That's that's no good. But, if you're getting into Kill Team, Hive Storm is still the better choice. It is a bit more expensive, but you are also getting the rule book. You're getting the models of all the universal equipment. You're getting two full Kill Teams. You're getting a full set of 3D actual plastic terrain and something else I feel like I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, Hive, Hive Storm, if you can pick it up, that is. I'm not sure if it's sold out or not. It's still the better option if you're getting started, but you could absolutely pick this up as well if you're just after these two kill teams. Like, the two kill teams in this box is the value. Why they don't have the full rules, why they don't have a full rule book, is just to force you to buy something else or to use their app. And the app is free, as long as it's around. It means they can change the rules, but it's just it's nice to have data cards, but they can always sell those separately, can't they? So it's it's penny pinching and money grubbing mixed together, which I don't really approve of. But yeah, so I would recommend picking this up only if you want the kill teams in it. If you can find Hive Storm and are interested in getting a kill team, that is far better value because you get so much that would cost you so much more if you bought them separately. So that's that. And yeah, the packaging is very disappointing. It came damaged. It warped, had warped sprue, it had stuff falling off the sprue. A bit unfortunate, but still. There will eventually be Kill Team on the channel. I don't know when, I don't know in what form, but it will be. And if, at the very least, as I paint up these Death Guard, because they're what I really wanted, they'll be appearing in my Getting Stuff Painted series. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall see you for something else. Tomorrow, I think. Until then, ta-ta for now.